So we are in a situation where with every plate, we are making a choice about whether we are going to push the planet to dead soils, dead rivers, desertification, extinction of species, totally unstable climate, and people. Because we are usually not conscious that the planet is always on our plate. I think what Dr. Shiva brings to Australia is a extremely well-informed, extremely long-ranging international perspective. Well, she is really a, a multinational figurehead in maintaining international food crop biodiversity and against genetically engineered foodstuffs, as I prefer to know them. In 2015, the International Year of the Soil, the issues that are really facing agriculture and, and the food industry are around intellectual property, I think, is probably the standout issue. It's strange that our media and our government, they, they have a certain bias that's pro genetic engineering. And Vandana is very powerfully asking important questions about that technology and how it's being applied. Because we do live in a westernised country, in, in westernised agricultural systems, we can find it difficult to see other ways to grow food, other ways to eat, other ways to save seeds. And what she has done is shown us another way that things can be done, another successful way. For me, seed freedom is the freedom of each variety, each species to evolve into the future. And therefore, we will not obey any law that comes in the way of this higher duty. A lot of people say, oh yeah, this is lost, this is just preaching to the choir. But, but the fact is, the choir is the most viable seed of this movement. I took away from that that I was actually part of a global network of people that wanted to see the world change and see access to food improve and to see corporate control removed and, and see political transparency open up. So read every single ingredient that you put in your mouth and make sure it's not a genetically engineered uh, product because every cent, every fraction of a cent that you spend on a product is a way of voting for that business practice to happen. Is a way of voting and saying, here is a dollar, I support what you do, keep doing it. Everyone can be a seed saver and everyone needs to be a seed saver. And you can, you can just take that little seed, you can put it on your windowsill, she said, and to grow it and then share those seeds with your neighbours. And it just makes you so happy to say, I can do this, I can do this one little change, I can be this little seed. So yeah, it's really beautiful. But the point is to actually uh, do something, participate. So get in your kitchen, Find your food, find your farmer, and do something yourself. Those are three things that everybody can do and will put you as part of the healing movement uh, rather than a participant in the continued uh, degradation of where we are. Agriculture means the culture of the land. Any activity that destroys the land, the soil, the biodiversity, the water, creates greenhouse gas emissions kills our bees and butterflies and our pollinators is no longer agriculture. It is war. We need to reclaim agriculture. And through agriculture, we will reclaim the future of humanity.